Hello world and welcome back to Polybridge. Today I'm gonna play Super Swing. Very hard. Okay. A. A and A, okay. This, we have five steel, we have hydraulics? Okay. I have no idea how I should do to solve this level. Maybe I'll build a swing here and see what happens. So that car should go here. We need to do something similar. So let's delete that one. We need to do something similar. For this one, so let's just have three swings, and let's each one of them have their own little swing part thing. So the last one almost works. If we put a hydraulic on it, like that, I think we could get it to work. Not quite right. Does it break because it hits the other car now? Yeah, I think it actually did. Make it smaller. Like that. Almost. I don't want it to break! This might be one of those levels that you more or less don't have a choice. Okay. One card fixed. Let's see... This card. Let's just place a hydraulic here and see how that changes it. I think it should give it a bit more speed and height. So, two of the three cars are fixed. Now we just need to get the last car up here. And I think that could be problematic. And if I'm guessing right, you should use, like, one swing on this level instead of three swings, like I am. It just... I guess I have... Because the materials I've used are really freaking low. Okay, that, that's not good. Is that better? They're standing on top of it. Okay, you drop down here. We would want you to drop down somewhere else, but if we give you a bit more speed with a hydraulic... You might jump off the thing, maybe? We need to change the angle. Let's see if that works. Lower it a bit. Like that. And now we just reconnect to that hydraulic. Change the angle like that, maybe? One wheel is stuck, that's pretty good, I think. Ooh! Awesome! Yes! I definitely need to have a replay on this one. And I should definitely zoom in a bit. So, here, I guess. And maybe like this. Yeah, I've, this is a really low budget solution for this level as well. I used... Almost half the budget. This is a great solution. Awesome. I like that the green car actually hits the blue car here. 
At least I think it does. I will look and see if it hits it, because if it does it, it that's cool. Yeah, it actually does. So probably the green car hits the blue car, so that can happen. That's really, really cool. Awesome. And I definitely need to check out how other people sol solve that level. Because I don't think they solve it like me. Okay, double car swing. Let's play another swing level from the same person. Okay. So I guess this is basically my old one, but with two cars instead of three. So I guess this is just an easier version of the other one. But let's tr try maybe and get it to work with one big swing instead. So we have a height for that one. Perfect now. The free road available. We can make a bit of a bit of a thing here. So that car can stay in it. And still hook it together to that point. And it will flip over if I do it like this. But I maybe want it to flip over? But maybe just on the right time. It broke. Yeah. Not strong enough. Steel. Okay, let's make that one. I think that's the one, one with carries most of the weight. Let's make that one out of steel. So there we have steel. And the supporting ones are cable. Okay, it hits now. It didn't hit before. No wheels are underneath. Hmm. What if we do something like that? Okay. Leave that. Now we just escape it. That's not nice. You're not allowed to escape it. Worked. And now we need somehow to make the last car go to the right place. Let's see what happens if we place a hydraulic here. Okay, it just gets scissored. Let's delete that. And go back to our normal cable. Then we should have... Don't we ha It's not free-falling, okay. We have a... Cable, actually, here. So let's have an expanding... Piston. Here, and connect it to that cable. And then have steel here. That's... That one we can overlap, that's good. But it's really, really freaking hard to see what's going on. So here we need two. Let's see, one and one. And then two. So we have one and one. That one needs to be at two. And the other one. Okay, what happens now? Now it just flips. Can't have that. Hmm. Yeah, so press set a bit. Go back. Okay, good. Delete that. Now the cable is removed. Let's have it like that. 
and go like this. Have it expand. Did not work. Lost car is hitting. I'm really unsure how to get that car off. Can I have like, just a little piece of wood here? Looks like it. So can I... I have three more roads. How do I do it? Can I shorten this so it drops off after it has hit the flag? Now you're actually riding on top of a car. Okay. Couldn't do it like that. So now we have just a little, little piece of road. Holding its wheel. I want this car to hit the flag and then drop off. I can get it stuck. Hmm. Too long. Probably less, more of an angle is needed. Let's have it like that from the beginning. That looks promising, actually. We have a long piece of road here. Just straight through the whole car. And let's add the road here. A bit shorter. It breaks. Damn it! Like that, maybe? Almost a bit longer. I change the angle. Is this better? Maybe if I should make it shorter here. And it's probably not either how he wants you to solve it. But it's a, f a bunch of fun solution. We got rid of a car. So go back to this. Remove that one and make it, make it into. Can't make it into cable. Can have it out of steel though. So now we have it out of steel, so now it pr will probably not break. But if a cable breaks. And that's not good either. Okay, here. One road? Okay. Hmm. Can we just, just get that car lost or something? I don't want it to interfere in my testing. That's pretty good, actually. So now when we have that, let's connect to the same place here. Road, like this. Did it hit it, maybe? I think this might hit it. Or something. I don't know why it otherwise would change its behavior. That's better. Too much, I guess. Too little, maybe? Too much, don't know. Okay. But how do I get out? How do I get the last car out? 
I don't know. Let me think a bit off camera. This is actually a bit interesting. So both of these are set to compress. But this car is so heavy or something. So it in extends instead. So it does more like that. But it's an uh, compression. You see? It grows. That's really, really weird. And I haven't really done any progress with the two or the one cart mesh method. Okay. We got it up, all right. Connect to the middle. Then have a cable here and here. Okay, got it up there and got it removed. All speed got removed as well. And that's not something we can do. Okay, we got it stuck now with one road, so that's pretty good. Now just. Add one road here. And one road here. And I'll add the cables. That car will definitely fall off that roof. Yeah! It did! So if I have a thing like that and with a hydraulic that expands. I wonder if the lost hydraulic is for something like that. But it doesn't expand as much as it needs to. Maybe if I change this one to hydraulic. And have that one with a cable here. The cable is probably the wrong thing. Cable there, maybe? Yeah, really bad. So I can't come up with a solution that uses one swing to do it. So I will do that some other time. I will not unsubscribe to the level because I haven't finished it. And I think I want to try something else. I can play another of his levels. Let's see, what should we do on this one? A should just go straight forward, B should go there and okay. Road. Steel here, steel here. Then triangles. I don't know what the balloon is for. Maybe to lift a lid off or something. I don't know when we have a hydraulic face, so I will add a piston here. But I'm guessing that we have a hydraulic face. Oh, A goes to that spot, and it's really slow. Now we have hydraulic phase, okay. So what we can do is this. So have these two connected. Why can't I? That's good. And now the road. What? Too far? Is road shorter than wood? That, oh yeah. They changed that. And if I remember, remember correctly, it was a pretty darn good change as well. But I had totally forgotten about that. Okay, we have two pistons. Let's expand here. That's probably too much. So let's lower it to 25%. So now, whoop! Do it like this instead. I think that's better. 
So, whoop, drops down, car gets over. And uh, now that car should also get dropped down here. Okay. How do we get the last car here? We have a piston. That car can activate a switch. Or something. So if we have something like that and have it also like that. We have one extra road for a reason, I think. Let's add it to the balloon there. Let's go. Let's reinforce it first, maybe. Reinforcement is pretty needed sometimes. Can't get there, okay. Delete that one. Have a triangle, and here we can place the steel. Good, goes there, and... Tips, because it doesn't have any stability. But that might give it some. And... This might, will also give it a bit of stability. Good. Okay, just jumped over it. And that means we maybe should just make a jump. So something like that. But if a small car can jump over, but if a little car can't, or this big car can't. So this little car will just fall down. Or have a lever system, so it is a, on a counterweight, but that actually looks like it will work. So let's go with this system. Okay, smaller. We really just need a super small jump for the scooter. Yeah. Good, sold it. M let's zoom in a bit. So here. Get an angle on it. Probably, yeah, this angle is better, I think. Like that. Okay, go. I would not want to be that car. And just fall over. Awesome. Save replay. If you like this video, like if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.